So are you struggling with sitemap errors? And you might have errors like couldn't fetch, sitemap could not be read, HTTP error 404, blocked by robot.txt, invalid sitemap, sitemap not updating, no index text on sitemap and no referring page detected. Don't worry, by the end of video, we'll solve all these issues. And one very important thing, this video could be a little bit longer. This is not the two minute fix video because those videos are very confusing and they don't really help. Because most of the time, different websites have different plugins, different websites are created differently. So if you follow this two minutes of video, you might have different options and you end up getting very confused. But today in this very education video, we're going to solve all the issues with the sitemap. And guys, one very important thing before we jump into this sitemap solution issues, if you are a new blogger or new website owner and you have a very small website, you might not need to think too much about sitemap because sitemap are not very important for very small website. Do they help? Yes, they do help. But if you're a new beginner, you don't understand anything and it's become very complicated for you to fix sitemap errors, forget about those things because sitemaps are not that important. You can see the official article by Google Search Central. I will add the link to this article in the description of the video. So you might not need a sitemap if your website is small. Small, they mean less than 500 pages because Google can still crawl your website without having sitemap on your website. So if you have too much stress about all these things and you cannot fix it, Please focus your energy somewhere else, creating good content. Do not worry too much about sitemap. Come back later to this video and then you can try to fix those issues. And please read this article. This is a really nice article. And by the way, this channel helps a lot of creators, bloggers, website owners to fix their technical issues on their website. So please subscribe to Practical, Premium, SEO, Website Development, Blogging and WordPress tutorials. I would really appreciate that. Before we go into the fixing, let's see what is a sitemap. Sitemap is a file where all the posts and pages of website are indexed. So sitemap is a XML file and the URL for this file will be your website URL slash sitemap underscore index.xml in case of WordPress. In case of other website, it will be sitemap.xml, the URL. And this helps Google to understand how your website is structured. Okay, now let's talk about the first issue where you see this sitemap couldn't fetch or you see sitemap could not be read or general HTTP error or HTTP error 404. So there are three common causes for this error. First is you don't have sitemap on your website. Second is wrong URL submitted to Google of your sitemap. And third thing is firewall security or caching plugins. Okay, so let's solve this step by step. So first of all, I want you open your website URL and in case of word website, enter sitemap underscore index dot XML and enter. If you cannot find a sitemap, then it means you don't have a sitemap on your website. In case of the website, it will be sitemap.xml. If you cannot find a sitemap there, it means you need to add the sitemap first on your website. In case you have WordPress website and you're using Rank Math plugin, go to Rank Math SEO and then go to Dashboard. And then in the end, make sure here the sitemap option is enabled, which create a valid sitemap on your WordPress website. In case you're using Yoast SEO plugin, go to Yoast SEO and Settings and then crawl the page. And then and in the API section, make sure the XML sitemap feature is enabled. And now if I go back to my page, and if I refresh this page, you can see I have the valid sitemap on my website. So this could be the big issue for most of people. For a blogger website, sitemap is automatically generated. You do not need to do anything about sitemap. But what happens when a lot of people, they enable custom robot.txt file and people add a custom sitemap here, which is not a good thing. Guys, you do not need to enable this option. Blogger does everything by itself. You might see a lot of people are adding this kind of custom robot.txt file and with the sitemap URL. You do not need to use this. You can see there is a thread about it which is answered by an expert. You can read this thread. I will add the link in the description. And people who are running a successful website, why you are on Blogger still? Blogger is not the best platform. If your blog is successful, please move to WordPress today. You want to know why? Please check my detailed video. Link will be in the description. Okay, now for the custom website, if you don't have sitemap website, you can use this website, xmlsitemap.com and then please add your website URL here. Click on start and you'll get a sitemap of your website. You can upload a sitemap on your website. You want to know how you can do that? I explained in this video, it's a very simple process, log into hosting and put a sitemap in the root folder of your website. If you want the detailed instruction, check the video in the description how to do that. Okay, the most important thing is done. We know that we have a valid sitemap on our website. So what we need to do now, what other problem happens? Sometimes what happens, people add their sitemap in search console. People might add wrong URL of the sitemap to Google search console. For example, for a WordPress website, it's always sitemap underscore index dot XML. So guys, make sure you're adding the correct URL. And for blogger is sitemap.xml. So please make sure you're adding the correct URL here. It's very, very important. Okay, so now we know we have valid sitemap on our website. We know that we have added the correct URL on Google Search Console, but still we face this issue of couldn't fetch. What's happening? So now there's only possibility why this is happening. And the possibility is 
a plugin or Cloudflare is blocking your website sitemap. So what you need to do here is go to install plugins. You can see I have the security plugin, WordSpan security and Lightspeed cache. Select both the plugins and then deactivate those plugins. Of course, you can later activate this plugin once you find out which plugin is making the issue. And once you do this and submit again the URL of your website, and you can side by submit successfully. If I refresh, you can see now it's success. So I know now either it was the cache plugin or it was a security plugin which was making the issue on my website. So what I will do, first I will activate the cache plugin. I'll go back here, I click on sitemap of my website and then I will delete the sitemap. Don't worry, it will not de-index your pages. You can always read your sitemap and add those again. And what I will do is submit again the sitemap. You can see sitemap submitted successfully. It means it was not issue with Lightspeed Cache Plugin, it was issue with WordPress Security Plugin. If again you find couldn't fetch error, it means it was the cache plugin. So keep the plugin disabled, now we have two options. Either change the setting of plugin which is causing the issue or use the alternate plugin. And we have so many plugins on WordPress about these things. Please check more information in the description. I will add the required setting to make your sitemap work properly with cache plugins or security plugins. Okay, now we know we have valid sitemap. The URL is good. Caching plugin, firewall plugin are not breaking the site, but you still have problem. What it could be, because I know a lot of time people face this issue, they try everything, everything looks fine, sitemap open fine, no issue with anything. So it might be Cloudflare. So guys, you can see recently I was using Cloudflare on my website. And what's happening, I use under attack mode. And what happened under attack mode, if I open the sitemap on my website, please make sure using product browsing to test if the sitemap is working properly or not. Do not check in the same browser. You can see there is a verification box from here because of Cloudflare. Now it loads, but what happened when Google bot will go there, it will not load. It will add the JavaScript challenge there and that could be an issue. So in that case, so make sure website is safe and disable the under attack mode. It's really important. It's really important because in under attack mode, Cloudflare challenge every request coming to the your website, including sitemap and robot.txt file. So once you disable under attack mode, click on the old map, which is having problem. Click on remove sitemap and then add again and then click on submit. So basically every time you have some issue, you need to read the sitemap first, which is causing issue, and add the sitemap again. And don't worry, it will not de-index your website pages. By this point, most of you will have solution of your sitemap issues. If yes, please comment fix. And please like the video if this video helped you because I bring you this in-depth quality videos, not those cheap fixes. So if you appreciate quality content and really want your website to be successful, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribing is totally free. I really appreciate that. With that said, let's go to the next step of sitemap issues. Second issue could be blocked by robot.txt. So a lot of people on the internet suggest what you can do. to have this option here, inspect any URL here. So what you can do, you can add your website sitemap URL here. You click on it and you click on it and you can see there's some description here. What we can do, we can click on test live URL. And if you see here, crawl allowed is yes, which means it is not blocked by robot.txt. But if you see crawl allowed no here, it means your sitemap is blocked by robot.txt file. You might have this wrong code, you disallow the sitemap of your website or you might disallow all the pages on your website by mistake. Make sure this is how your website sitemap URL looks like and you're not disallowing sitemap or important pages of your website. So make sure you're not doing this mistake. And also this may lead us to the next issue which is submitted URL marked no index. You can see indexing allowed and say no. No index detected in X robot text HTTP header. A lot of people say you need to solve this issue. But guys, you do not need to solve this issue. It is totally normal that sitemap should not be indexed. Sitemap is meant to be read by bots and not to be indexed on Google so people can read it. And we are talking about XML sitemap. If it is HTML sitemap, that's a totally different problem. But today we are talking about XML sitemap. So if XML sitemap is set to no index, no worries. It's totally normal behavior. How many times you search on Google, you find this XML sitemap of a website. It's very rare. In some cases, you might find it, but mostly it's totally normal behavior. Then no index tag is added to the sitemap. If somebody disagrees with me, please comment below the detailed reason why I'm wrong. I did a lot of research about it. You can find more links in the description why having no index tag is totally normal on sitemaps. Because here crawling is allowed, only indexing not allowed. And we all need is crawling by bots. So crawling is important, not indexing. Okay, next issue, sitemap is not updating. You are adding new pages on your website, but sitemap is not updating. This might is happening because of cache plugin. So what you can do, you can open sitemap of your website and then right click here and then click on inspect and then go to network tab and then reload the page. What will you see here? Click on sitemap here and then you will see here cache control. It says no cache. And if you have no cache, it means your sitemap will be updated. But let's see other page of my website. So this page is cached page. If I right click on this page, again, click on inspect, go to network tab and then reload this page. And you can see here, if I reload this page and I select this, for example, the CSS files, you can see we have cache control public and max age something. 
So if you see something on the side map right now, we don't see if you see something, it means your cache plugin is not updating the side map. So what you can do? So in this case, you can exclude the side map URL in your cache plugin. So every cache plugin has this option. For example, in Lightspeed cache, you can click here, URL excludes, and then you can add the URL of your site map here. And for more detail about different plugins, check the link in description. Just find a way in your cache plugin to exclude the URL of the site map so it's not cached. And once you do this, and after doing this, clear your cache and your site map will be updated from next time. Okay, now let's talk about next thing, fix invalid site format. So what you can do, you can test your website site map here and click on validate site map. You can see no issue detected, but in case if you see an issue here, problem detected. So what's happening, site map format is not correct. And this issue will happen mostly with custom website because you did a mistake in the code or there can be a different issue. In this case, come back here again, example sitemap.com, I'll add the link in the description and click on start and regenerate your website sitemap here. And then again, upload the sitemap. In case of WordPress website, disable sitemap option with your plugin like rank math or Yoast SEO and then enable again. Same thing Yoast SEO plugin, disable it and enable again. And after doing this, make sure you clean the cache of your website. This will fix the invite site format issues. For blogger, if you're having the issues in my sitemap, please make sure you're not adding custom sitemap for your website. You're not using a custom road.txt file. And guys, one very important thing, this could be again an issue because of Cloudfest. You might have the, everything good working on your website. You have the correct sitemap. Everything is working fine. Cache is not blocking the sitemap. File plugin is not blocking the sitemap. As you can see on my website, I face this issue personally. This was because I was using the under attack mode. So guys, make sure you're not using under attack mode. Please check this. Once I disable the under attack mode or what you can do, you can also post Cloudflare from here. This will not break your website. And then I checked again. My sitemap was not invalid anymore. So this might be issue in your case also. Please test this thing. The last point would be no referring sitemap detected. So this is happening because you forgot to add this kind of pages in your sitemap. How you can do that? If you're using rank math plugin, go to titles and meta and then make sure global meta set to index and then post types, make sure they are set to index here and make sure the pages type, they're also set to index here if you scroll the page. And post type like WTV tables or Elementor header for developer, they're not set to index, they're set to no index. I created a detailed video, no referring sitemap detected. If you want to watch that video, check the link in description. If this video is helpful, please like the video. And if you'd like to watch premium tutorials on blogging, website development, SEO, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate that. And now watch this useful video on robot.txt which is really useful for your website or your blog.